I felt like I made a really big mistake. I'm going to be honest. You see, I've been playing Diablo 4. You guys know this. Obviously, you're watching the channel. And uh, I got the Druid to level 100, which is great. But then I started playing the Necromancer. I got him to level 44. And at that time, approximately, I realized, that, you know, this is great to level. I'm enjoying this. But um, I'm a little bored of just re-leveling. I'm going to be honest. When you go into the world and you get to make the second character, and I'm playing solo. I'm not trying to, like, power level or whatever. But the game is designed to, like get to the level, start messing around with your builds, etc. And I've already experienced the game. So I'm like, okay, redoing it again on your new character is just a tad boring. And I was like, I was a little bit disappointed with like, I'm making the second character and I'm bored. Like that shouldn't be happening. And like, I've been enjoying this game a lot. But then I made a hardcore sorcerer with my friend Veldshot. And we just went to world tier two and started actually playing the game. We just started playing the game about an hour or two a day together. Not really, I'm not looking up any builds, I'm not trying to do anything, I'm just playing the game, okay? And I'm playing it on a hardcore, and I'm playing it with a friend. And that has been like 10 to one, this character at level 28. I am only level 28, but it is like a 10 to one enjoyment ratio of I am having an absolute out of my mind blast of the extreme difficulty of of being hardcore and being able to lose your character at any point. And I myself have set up here and said many times that I'm not gonna play hardcore, I'm not as much interested. And originally when the game was gonna come out, I'm like, I'll play hardcore, it'd be fun. I played the early access review and I'm like, there's so much lag, there's so much DCs, there's, there's a bug which literally all your buttons just suddenly don't do anything. I might as well call it the hardcore killer bug. So like, I hadn't been very interested at all in it. But after actually playing it, it is unbelievably fun to play a hardcore, okay? Just the, the threat of losing your character, but more so, even if you don't want to play a hardcore, okay? I, even if you have a friend and you can play with a friend, it is so much better because I have spent a large amount of my time just solo running around, walking around the world, picking up a side quest, picking up these, turning in the side quest, doing the primary story, which in and of itself is perfectly fine gameplay. Like there is nothing wrong with this style of gameplay, sure, okay? But it can't compare to the enjoyability I started having the second I started playing with a friend, and I only play this character really when I'm with my buddy Veldshot. And as well as trying out the hardcore. Oh, I don't want to die like Quinn. Let's get away from the bear here. And they recently said in one of the quality of life that these scroll of escapes are going to be automatically used on DC to try to counteract some of the DC problem. Because if you weren't aware, there is some hilariously, amazingly bad DC discount. I, I actually think Quinn's first death is literally the most BS death I've ever seen. I've got to show this to you. So the preface this so you know what's going on. He is in a nightmare dungeon currently at the moment, okay? He's in a nightmare dungeon. He just completed it. He's level 91. Look at this. He's a level 91 druid. He's after a completed nightmare dungeon inside of the immunity bubble where even the minions will not attack you. Watch what happens, okay? That he goes to teleport. After the teleport has been completed, the game has now crashed. He logs back in after the game crashed and his character is literally dead. He literally has a dead character. He was not only at the end of a nightmare dungeon that he had fully cleared, he was within the immunity bubble and the teleport went through and it went in the loading screen. Somehow he managed to die. Now I have heard a lot of really good takes in Diablo. I've heard a lot of really stupid takes. I cannot understand why anyone would blame this man for literally dying during a loading screen. Like, look, Quinn has had his opinions about me multiple times, and I've clapped back a little bit at some of them all in good fun. But like, the reality of this situation is, no matter what you feel about Quinn, like, if that if that happened to you, if you were disconnecting from a fully clear Nightmare Dungeon sign of the vulnerability bubble and died in a loading fucking screen, you would absolutely lose your mind. So the reason that I have decided before previously I'm not playing hardcore is because of basically the fact that I don't I'm from Alaska I have bad internet my internet can go out actually quite often it's one of the things I worry about while live streaming if I play a hardcore it's going to be really hard for me to make YouTube videos like if I lose my character level 90 level 80 whatever like it I'm not going to be able to make the level 100 druid guide and there's a very real possibility of me dying 
not only because of internet connection issues, because of skill issues. I could literally just be bad enough that I can die in hardcore they're like a normal minion. So it's been discouraging. But once I hit that level 100, and then I started like, YouTube's going well. You guys are watching the videos. The live streams are being overwhelmingly supported. I started to feel a level of freedom of being able to just enjoy the game and not have to stress so much about like, I have to make the best guy. I have to make the whatever, you know? And I guess that's part of the reason you guys are here. But the awesome part of it is, I feel like I can have more fun with the game. And the hardcore itself has been some of the most fun. Granted, I'm only level 28. When I die level 50, this will change and I'll maul and I'll say it's the worst thing ever. But if you haven't tried it yet, it might actually be pretty fun if you're willing to lose your character. Get maybe a softcore character max or something first, because then when you're when you're passed through the campaign, you can literally skip the campaign on hardcore, etc. too. And it also reinforces for me like this mindset I have about about gaming lately, which is like when I force myself down the rabbit hole of like I'm just gonna play the game and try to have fun. Like I, I know it's a very simple concept. But when I look down at a game and I'm mostly like min-maxing the game before the game even comes out, and we talked about this on stream the other day, where it was like Back in the day, you would buy a computer game or a Super Nintendo game and you would bring it home. And you guys would all experience what the game is together at the same time as like a Christmas present to the fact that we have the whole game solved. We know our build. We've seen playthroughs, like everything before the game even comes out. OK, like I myself am part of that. I did the review build. So it's I'm I'm trying to allow myself to experience games again the way I did as kids, because my the thing I like to say is, look, if we want to enjoy games the way we did when we were a kid, we have to play them the way we did when we were a kid. And a lot of that is is kind of letting the the min-max go a little bit, enjoying it for what it is, and trying stuff maybe you otherwise thought you wouldn't have enjoyed. And I think that's the lesson for today for me personally, is that I didn't think I was going to enjoy, enjoy hardcore after seeing all the problems, etc. When I die, I'm sure I'm going to be upset by it. But for the, for the journey as opposed to the destination right now, dude, it is a, it, I'm absolutely having a fantastic time. Um, not only just playing the game in general, as I've said before, but also like the hardcore is fun, playing it with a friend is fun. I, it's it's just nice. It, it's just kind of nice to like, uh, and you know, enjoy the game and, and play it in a more relaxing way. That's really the whole point of today's video. But make, make absolutely no mistake, okay? This right here, this dying, daring to teleport, this would ruin hardcore. So if you're wondering about hardcore and you're wondering about seasons coming up, etc. Probably season one, if you're thinking about making the hardcores, probably right about the right time to do it because we're getting a lot of the fixes then, we're getting the better XP, et cetera, with the nightmare dungeon changes, we're getting quality of life, uh, the scroll of escape, like we're getting a bunch of different changes to the way uh, both hardcore is gonna work as well as quality of life and new characters in general. And then seasons are coming up. So season one, I have a feeling we're gonna see a, a more hardcore players than we are seeing, you know, at the moment. I think the the popularity of that's probably going to rise. And I'm starting to understand uh, a little bit why people actually play the hardcore, because the threat of losing your character makes everything very exciting. Um, but that's about it, really. Uh, you know, maybe give it a shot if you haven't yet. All right, love you all. See you on the live.